Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope very well. This is my year with the gear with the CC four inch battery powered chainsaw. Let's uh, crack this case open and we'll take a look at what we got. All right, so this is typically what I own. Well, this is all I will bring if I'm on an outing. I have brought battery one, battery two, the chainsaw, and while I've actually not used it, I actually have a can of WD-40 in here, just in case. And then the, the case has nothing in there but some dirt dust. So, I don't bother bringing a power cord because I don't have an external charger. I don't bother bringing, um, well, the gloves that it came with it were too small for my hand, so I just pitched them. And, you know, all the other little stuff, the spare chain, all that stuff's stuff at home. So, okay. So, of all the compl of all the comments on I received on multiple videos using this, I did one in the initial review. I did one of the addressing the issue of well, how big a fuel can you cut? Because you know that's not a lot of uh, blade for firewood, and I addressed that simply turn the fuel and work the saw around it and you can cut you know much larger wood i addressed that the only thing i couldn't address i'm trying to get flatter ground i don't want to trip the only thing i couldn't address is how long the batteries last because there's no indicator of how long they'll stay um charged and you know there were several complaints you know several comments made about well, the, the battery is, you know, not very big. And, you know, how long is it going to hold up? I don't know. I don't know. I, I have yet to have a battery die on me. But what's nice is you can, you can be out working, you know, cutting firewood and getting... You know, it depends on really what you're using it for. I mean, if you're going to be running a fire all night you might want to have a, a bit bigger saw now they do have an eight inch i have and i'm gonna be doing a year with the gear i hope on it with that one when when the year up hits uh and i hope to use it a little bit more too you know double fingers crossed that i can actually get out again like i used to but i've got a lot of other unfortunate things going on like um rise you know everything's just getting more expensive and it's pricing me out of everything but um, <clears throat> yeah, the only thing, uh, you know, so a typical camp out for me is I would get off work Friday, I would run home straight away, change into my outdoor clothes, which is a, you know, quick changeover, load the car full of stuff, which didn't take that long, and then I'd hit the woods, you know, maybe stop for, you know, whatever I was going to eat, or if I didn't have it planned ahead, and then I would hit the woods after driving all the way out there. You know, it could be four, maybe five o'clock, depending on how, if I drag my feet or not. It could be six. I get there, I immediately set up your shelter, start cutting firewood. And so I'd be running around, you know, grabbing sticks and fuel and, and cutting them, bucking them up. Now it does stop when it gets hot, but I don't think there's much you can do about that because, you know, it's just a little motor you know, I mean, it's vented, you know, here and on the sides, and but, you know, still a battery-powered saw. I mean, it's you're putting it through a lot of hard work cutting through fuel, so you know it will stop. But I haven't had to, I haven't killed a battery yet. I've switched batteries in between uh, while working, but you know, I haven't I actually haven't had one of these guys completely die on me now I'll probably do a little show a little bit more at home there's a power cord that you just you plug right here you plug uh, plug it in and you just put in any uh, wall outlet to charge and there's a light on the the, the, the plug-in that will be red and then when the thing is charged it'll just go off so letting you know the battery's full <clears throat> and if you had some kind of a jackery power power station or an eco uh, flow power station you, you could literally come out here you know camp 
set up a solar charger for on it either of them have solar capability you run your you know you can just you could be, I'd probably be out there for a, you know a good long couple of week or so <clears throat> without being interrupted because you can just keep charging the batteries along with all your other stuff I personally I just charge them up take them out to the woods and I've been fine without having to uh, you know been fine with the battery life for the couple the you know what three days two nights no problem I don't usually cut a lot of firewood Saturday morning Sunday morning I've had to get up Saturday morning and it's like have to go cut a small tree down and buck it up for to get the morning's fire going and then after you know breakfast and lollygagging and shooting the S you know then we start working on firewood so you know I mean I've dropped little trees with the standing dead I'll cut up a bunch of limbs which I'll do here shortly I'll just I'll cut a few limbs I don't, I'm not gonna go through a whole lot of firewood processing because I'm not I'm just at the park it's not even really a park it's like over there there's a hiking trail but this is sort of a offside trail I've actually shot a lot of videos here I mean I've made fire here and I've cooked I've done cooking videos here it's kind of my I don't really want to drive super far to go shoot videos so I just come here so let's do a few cuts and then we'll uh, we'll wrap things up I'm also gonna be doing a there'll be a few clips thrown in at home I'll show you the power cord and I'll show you a few other things and uh, I realized I didn't bring gloves or eyewear, but I have sunglasses, but I think I'll manage because I'm not really like working a lot of wood, but let's get to the, uh, let's get to the cutting. All right. So for the life of me, I cannot find the, the backup chain or the sharpeners that came with the saw. So I'll have to do some digging around. So it's pretty simple. You just plug in the back here. <clears throat> I got a power cord right here. Just went and got a extension you just plug it in and see how the light comes on in the case that it's charging and then once it's uh, done charging I think it goes green or it goes off I think it turns green so one thing I'd like to point out too and I don't I don't know if I mentioned this but if you're out camping and you've got people nearby it's not super loud, so you're not going to be annoying everyone, unlike a gas-powered chainsaw. Plus, I'd also like to add out add that uh, I have not sharpened this chain, touched it up, or replaced it since I started using it a year ago. It still just cuts nice and easy. Right, try to get you in here much closer. I made pretty quick work of, uh, you know, I would say a fairly decent size, a good start to some firewood. Which I didn't cut that one. Yeah, I mean, pretty decent. I mean, that'd be enough wood for me to get my, you know, I'd probably take this guy here. It's a little dead. Actually, I can actually pull it apart, but. Probably make some halfway decent feather sticks. Which is a little wet in here, but you know what you can do with the stuff that is laying on the ground. But you know, for a thicker piece, you baton it down, get your fire going. I'd have no problem getting fire going. And I could probably cook a bannock and make a meal just on what's here by itself. So now I even got a start to a fork stick if I chose to. Just trim off this end here. Like this, you 
know, put a little point on it, hammer it in the ground, put your hot dog stick or whatever you're gonna make. Done. Alrighty, so the price. Now a professional YouTuber would have had the price already ready to go in my head. I could just nail off the numbers for you. But I didn't think to look, look up the cost of it now for 2023. So I'll do that right now. Alrighty, so there we go. So I guess the question is, would I shell out the money for it? If, if, the, if the company hadn't sent it to me, would I have bought it? Now, that's tough because, you know, it's a, it's a little chunk of change. I mean, it's not like it's, it's crazy. It's not crazy expensive. I mean, a hundred bucks is about what you spend on a quality knife, so, or more. And yeah, you can go buy yourself a silky saw for 40 bucks. But then you're also not having to, you know, I don't have to manually sit there and, you know, tire myself out sawing a whole bunch of wood. So maybe there's some pros and cons. Um, the fact that it stops can be a little annoying, but you know, it's a small little motor. I mean, what do you, what do you expect? Plus you don't, you don't want it to burn out either. So I don't want to invest a hundred bucks and then have the damn thing stop on me. And then quit working it because then you're just you're just out money but I guess the same thing could be said if you had a, a folding saw and the, the blade snapped so you know I mean it can happen I've, I've seen people go out and break their saws so it's not like you know nothing's infallible but you know I mean, if I had a, like a you know 40 or 50 dollar you know Amazon gift card like I don't know Christmas birthday leave me alone bugs something like that and you know, I was like, well, maybe I'll invest towards it. So, I really wish we could coincide with bugs peacefully, but they always have to bring on the violence. <sighs> Ugh, pains, anyway. So, I'll uh, link the description with uh, the product. Probably Amazon. I'll look to see if they have a website. I'll put that there too. Last video I've done, and I'll try to find all the videos I have of using the saw, you know, cutting larger wood, and I'll put it all on the end screen here. And there might be like three videos plus my little hey, subscribe. So, anyway, that's a year with the gear to CC four inch battery powered chainsaw. I like it. Is it perfect? No, but I think it's pretty decent for what you're doing. Plus, if you have a property, you know, you have your home and you like to trim a lot of branches. <clears throat> it's not super heavy either. You can just go around, mirror, mirror, mirror. So, I mean, that's what I would be doing. Anyway, again, thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Sub and like and all that if you'd like. Appreciate it. See ya.